So you completed your apprenticeship in and around 1949 That's right. and you were known as a journeyman and uh, you were involved in um, electrical work in various factories yes. and, and what not. So know. how did you end up looking like this dapper young man in a naval uniform? Uh, you joined the Navy, in the, in the Merchant Navy in 1950. Um, so how did this come about, Summer? Well, you see, most I would say that most of my... I'll close this door here. Yes, go ahead. Most of my uh, relatives are... Yes. ...were all involved in the Navy in some time. Yes, I yes. Had, I had cousins who served in the Royal Navy. Yes. My, my great... or my grandfather, Sedgwick, he was what is known as a donkey greaser. Right. On the cross channel boats between Belfast and Hysham. Right. And uh, that's where he that's where he was. A donkey greaser? What a donkey that? greaser? What, what's they're, that? They're, they're running about the engine room. Oh right. And yeah. and make sure everything's yeah, running they're, running they're, to they're running well. But anyway, I suppose the old orange was always there to join the, the merchant. So there was salt in the blood. And I was even thinking even before a thought about serving my time and all. I was yes. thinking of maybe going and joining the Merchant Navy or the Royal Navy as a cabin boy. Um, but what did your parents think about this? Well, I don't know. I mean, they didn't want you going away well, off to sea <laughs> and not being seen about the place for... Uh, no. So anyway... Any, anyhow, <coughs> uh, when I wanted to go to sea, another chap and I uh, out of the same firm, a uh, fellow called Herbie Ross, and uh, he decided that he would go to sea as well. Mm -hmm. So we started to write to different companies right. to see about getting maybe an interview or whatever, mm -hmm. and there wasn't much coming off them. Right. So Herbie says to me, you know what we should do? We should get a job in the shipyard. Right. And they were building the aircraft carrier Eagle then. Right. And uh, if we could get a job in the shipyard then, when we were writing to the different companies, if when they ask you what's your experience, yes, then you could say, Well, I've worked on... Working hard in the woods. Exactly. Ships. Right, so this would be a, an so added that, bonus uh, on your CV. So writing up then, uh, we, we did get word to uh, the British Tanker Company right. and uh, on tankers and uh, so we got a job in the shipyard right. and we went to work on the aircraft carrier Eagle Wow! and uh, we worked uh, we worked in a very secret compartment uh, called it was ship to shore telephone exchange right it was the first time it was going to be done. And uh, the GEC were in charge of all that. Mm -hmm. And we worked in, in that compartment. And uh, there was a... I would hardly believe this, but there were so many cubicles. And there was a quarter of a million wires. Right. Different colours to tell you where they were to go and mm -hmm. all about it. And you mm -hmm. worked a plan. Yes, yes. But anyway, we got that all done, and then eventually the ship was ready, and we were going to go uh, on trials. Yes. You went on trials? Yes, you went to, the boat had to go out into the RSC. This was great, going to get our And you got, you got going on that? Well, what happened was then, uh, we were going to go on that. Yes. But then I got word, I got a telegram. Uh, in December 1950, asking me would I join a tanker in Falmouth. <coughs> and that happened on the 21st of December 1950. Right. So, pardon me, my future wife, we went down into Belfast and uh, I went to Stanley's Jewelers and bought her an engagement ring and we, we, we became engaged the day that I left 
that I left Belfast. And this is your wife Pearl here standing beside you that's and right. you're on one of the, it oh. looks as if you're on one of the boats. That's right. She was able to come one time over to join me. And where did you, where did you meet her? Oh, we lived opposite each other on the same street. <laughs> So we, went, so we went to the same school. So you got way wave out the window. Oh, you, you, yeah, hey, yeah, you, you yeah. didn't have to go far from home, boy. Oh, no, didn't <laughs> oh yeah, my yeah. goodness, good yeah, looking, yeah. good looking girl, boy. Boy, she was a cracker. Boy, you, <laughs> you lit on your feet, boy. Uh, tell me, you're right. <laughs> you didn't let her out of here. She, she was one of three sisters. Uh, she had a sister called an older sister May, and another sister called Sadie. May's dead, Sadie's still living, and she's 92, and she's living, she's living up in the spa in Bella Hinch, in a home up there. Yes. <coughs> <And, coughs> my goodness. So there were six of a family at the Bradshaws. There was three boys and three girls. And as I say, May's dead, Pearl's dead, and one brother, mm -hmm. Jim, he's dead. So three out of the six. So there's three out of the six. Well, now there's three still living. There's two boys lives in Canada. Right. Walter and Freddie. Right. So, um, you got engaged almost on the day that you were set in sail. That's right. <laughs> and where were you set and sail for? We set to, had to go and join this ship. In Falmouth? In Falmouth. And where was it going from there? Well, what happened was we had to get the, I had to get the boat from the Hisham boat. That's right. Took me across and then I got a, tr a, a train. A train down. And took me down, I had to change a crew or change oh, yes, 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 of course. And then on down to Falmouth. And I arrived in Falmouth on the 23rd or so, took 20, 26 hours to get, to get there, there from Belfast. Right, so onto the boat. Onto the boat and it was in darkness when I arrived. Right. And there was nobody on it, only a watchman. Right. And he says to me, I said, I'm supposed to join this ship. And he says, well, it'll not be going for a day or two because there's, there's work still to be done. Right. And uh, we were there until old years night. Right. I meant that I was stuck there and there was no phones in them days. And you could have been sitting at home. For, uh, could have been at home. I know. But there you were. There you were. I was stuck and we were there uh, until the 20, until old years night. Right. That was a bit of a lonely Christmas. It was. Well, ah. uh, well we had, I met this chap, my best man. Right. Uh, Walter. And uh, this is another picture of um, Sammy's wife Pearl and uh, Pearl's sister Peggy, and, my sister. or your sister Peggy and your mother Annie. That's it. Yeah. And that's standing outside your front door at in Electric Street. In Electric Street. That was a great name for a street. Yeah. My goodness gracious! By by your I used what? to say Pearl lived in Magnetic Street. Oh right. <laughs> I lived in Electric Street. Oh my goodness. So when we met. The sparks really did fly. Oh, 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 